Carolyn Co. presents a weekly scripture. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for another brief moment in God's Word. Today we dive back into the seven deadly sins with greed, or as the Bible calls it, covetousness. And today's verse comes from huh, Exodus. This is, of course, in the Old Testament and the Old Covenant. This is during the time, I believe, Yes, Moses. This is during the time I am of the I am of the plagues of Egypt, basically. Moses has just gotten his people out of Egypt, and God has and God has just given Moses the Ten Commandments, of which greed or covetousness is one of them. And unlike the seven deadly sins. In the Ten Commandments is a is in here in a complete list. Exodus chapter twenty verse seventeen. Thou shalt not covet thy thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor his or anything thing that is thy neighbor's. And for any of those who, of you who want to leave jokes in the comments, the, as the ass is referring to his donkey. That's what they used to call it back in olden times. Now, Jesus has amended these rules slightly in the New Test, in the New Covenant, but as far as I can tell, the only one he amended was thou shalt not kill. Now it's thou shalt not murder. Back then, it was absolutely no killing whatsoever because the human population was so little. Now it's thou should, thou should do no murder, which is unjust killing. And yes, there is such a thing as just killing. But that's but, but I digress. Covetousness or greed is a desire to want something, obviously. But it is the desire to want something that thou, thou does not have to the point of being envious of the other owner. That sort of thing is why you see um, sports cars. Uh, sports cars. Sort of, uh, mine has more horsepower than yours, so to speak. Or mine's more expensive than yours. Etc. Etc. Et <laughs> but of course, es you've got escalation involved there. So, if you covet something too much, you could wind up stealing something and, well, if you steal something, you're going to get persecuted for it. Well, I guess that's all I've got for you today. So, until next week, thank you for your time.